and it's uh, like the culinary Olympics of, of the Caribbean. Uh, five days of competing, basically, um, and we did extremely well, very much better than we all expected. So um, we're happy, we're proud, and we, we brought back the medals. We did. How many medals and for what um, categories? As a team, we brought back the silver medal. Um, then Maria here got a bronze one for pastry. Mark here got a bronze one for the bartending. And I, oh, Einer is here also. Hey, <laughs> and of course, Eva here brought uh, the master chef bronze medal as well. So I think with the little preparation we we had, we had we did extremely, extremely well. We went with a different approach. We said that Belize is very unique because we are to, we are at the mainland, we are Central America and the Caribbean. So we have the Maya, the Mestizo. We have chocolate, we have Ricardo Negro, we have Ricardo Rojo. So that was our appro approach. So we don't know where, we are, where they are giving for cook. And on our mystery day, we got beef, right? We got whole chicken, sure, and we got pork. So we make our Ricardo relleno Negro. And we fill it in our piece of our, our chicken breast there, right? And we reduce that. <laughs> and then um, before we left the bar here at the Philip Gosling, we took some chocolate stout, because chocolate stout is in season in March, right? So we made a braised chocolate stout short rib, and we put some cacao in it from Ish Cacao down at Maya Center. Boy, look here. They don't know if we have a St. Lucia. They, they, first of all, if, if they don't hear about Belize, brother, they know about Belize now, and they tell you that. And we have to go back. In the first day we reach, and it look intimidating. So much people, they're there every year. The whole year they practice. And well, we just had three practices, but we felt, we felt confident after the first day. From the first day at 3 or 5, we made an impact because so much people came to our table and they were interested in what we did. Eh? From a simple panty ripper that we had, it was a big explosion for everybody that we ran out of food, panty ripper. So, <laughs> and the other teams, they're sending people, 16, 17 year olds, that they're, they're there learning. And I guess that's something that we should focus more on.